Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you that how we can find blind accesses on web applications. Before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that uh, how we can reverse engineer Python executable files, then I recommend you to check that out and let's get started. Also, if you haven't checked out our website which is bepractical.tech, then I also recommend you to check that out. We have awesome labs for cyber security as well as web development as you can see over here and all these labs are based on real world scenarios. So do check them out and finally let's get started. First of all, let us talk about what is blind access, right? So blind access is a special uh, cross site scripting technique in which you won't be able to see the ref reflection. So assume a scenario where we have a contact us uh, page, right? So whenever you supply any information like your name and email address and with some message, what basically happens is that they will just submit your message and it will be sent to the uh, respective admins, right? But you won't be able to see what is what has happened. So let's take the scenario. For example, if you head over to this uh, website, which is xss.bpractical.tech, as you can see over here, and assume that this is a live website and it is a contact us uh, application, right? So we can send our queries to the respective developers, right? Suppose I have sent a simple query, like if I type my name, and let's specific, uh, let's specify a simple payload like uh, script alert one, or even before that, let's type a, a normal input. Let's say hi, please fix this website as soon as possible, and let's see what happens. As you can see, it is showing me that your message has been sent, and if I click on OK it has again redirected me to that particular web application but as you can see over here our given input is not reflecting somewhere right but there is still a possibility of cross-site scripting so let me show you how so suppose that uh, this message is now sent to the admin and now the admin uses a particular endpoint to access your query like in this case it is be practical underscore admin and here as you can see the admin will uh, able to see what you have sent to him right but in most of the cases you won't be able to access this particular admin panel but there's a possibility that your input is reflecting over here not on that particular application so you don't have access to this particular application in this case we have to use a blind XSS payload and let me show you that how we can use it So now let us try to see that how we can perform blind XSS. For that, we have to open our new tab and here we have to type XSS Hunter, hit enter. And now you have to click on this very first link and here you have to create an account. For example, I'm going to create one. So let's type be practical, practical 007 and uh, anything like be practical tech sorry here we have to provide email address so i'm going to provide mine and now here we have to specify any word be practical 007 and here we have to select mountains or hills so there are three and uh, let's click on sign up Now, as you can see, we have been redirected to the application and now what we need to do is we need to head over to this payload and we need to select any one of these payloads. So for example, I'm going to select this, the first one. And now what you need to do is on the application, you need to specify this payload. So suppose here I'm going to paste my payload and here as well. Let's click on submit query. And now it is showing me that your message has been sent, but in the background, the XSS payload is, has been sent to the admin panel, right? So whenever the admin tries to access that particular admin panel and whenever he sees your payload, it is going to be uh, executed if vulnerable, right? And in that case, you will, you will get an alert. So let me show you how. If I head over to be practical admin, and as you can see, nothing much has happened as now but if we head over to xss hunter 
and over here we have to head over to this XSS files and now let's refresh this and perfect as you can see we successfully got the XSS payload and we successfully confirm that indeed this application is vulnerable to blind XSS right as you can see it has captured the screenshot of that particular uh, endpoint and it is also showing us that particular endpoint from which the uh, JavaScript payload has been executed right so I hope that you have understood that how we can find blind XSS on web applications by the way if you want to practice uh, blind XSS then feel free to check this website out xss.bpractical.tech and if you guys have any doubts if you guys have any issues then please let me know in the comment section also do join our telegram channel where we can discuss ma about many things like cyber security and web development thanks for watching